Well, today I want to talk about adaptogens and altitude. Now, it's not attitude, and everybody knows that adaptogens are good for your attitude, but today I want to focus on altitude. This is one of the ways that I learned how adaptogens actually work. You know, it's just like with Chinese medicine for thousands of years, how did they figure out these herbs did certain things? They did it through experience, trying it over and over thousands of times and, and in China millions of times and seeing how people reacted to herbs. They were also sensitive to energy and how it moves. So this all made up the body of knowledge which became Chinese medicine. Even in my own practice, is very similar to that, how you learn how to use certain herbs. And for me, adjusting to altitude was one of the first ways that I learned about adaptogens. I met a girl back in the 90s and ended up getting married. And when we first got together, we had to go visit her parents. And, you know, we're living in L.A., which is 233-foot elevation, approximately. So it's almost sea level. And her parents lived in a tiny mountain town that was 7,000 feet. Now, I never thought at, one, at any time that... Uh, it was a different altitude. It just never crossed my mind. So we flew into Albuquerque, which is around 5,000, and right away, I'm not feeling well. And <laughs> I'm not feeling well at all. My head's got all this pressure in it. And by the time we drove the two hours or so to get to Taos, New Mexico, we'd gone up another 2,000 feet. My head was pounding, and I had a migraine that was just unbelievable. I hate to say it, but it was back in the 90s, I took a couple of Excedrin, and that seemed to help with it. But the reality is, I didn't like taking that stuff, and I had to figure out some way of dealing with these issues of going up in elevation, because obviously I was going to marry this woman, and I'm going to have to be coming back to Taos quite often. Luckily for me, about four or five years later, uh, adaptogens became the new thing in Chinese herbology. And so we got in some rhodiola, which was one of the first ones. We had a luthero ginseng, but it wasn't talked about that much. But once rhodiola came into the herbal pharmacopoeia, we all started playing with it, and I started taking it every day. It was helping me with some fatigue issues, but I had it in my system, and I noticed my next trip back to Albuquerque that it was slightly different. I didn't have the same issues, although I still had some. And over the years, because now adaptogens have become part of my life, uh, it's totally changed how I adapt from going to where I live now, which is 2,000 feet, up to Taos, New Mexico. In fact, I went last week and I didn't have any of the problems associated with going up in altitude. I was slightly different in my energy. In other words, I didn't have the high energy point during my day, but it was a even keel. I didn't get any headaches. I didn't have trouble adjusting in that way. And I know it's because of the adaptogens I had in my system. And I've been taking adaptogens because you know I make inner peace. I make tea on chi. They're based on adaptogenic herbs. But I have that in my system every day. Back when we were first introduced to adaptogens, what did they talk about most of the time? How they gave them to cosmonauts and people that were hiking up in the Himalayas and how they all adjusted to elevation by taking rhodiola. Now, today, I take rhodiola every day because it's in Tian Chi, but every adaptogen has this ability to oxygenate your blood and help your body to adapt to adverse conditions. So I was just up in Taos at 7,000 feet for a week, didn't notice it that much. I didn't get a chance to go up to my favorite place there, which is actually 11,000 feet. Uh, I love to go up there. It's Wheeler's Peak and Taos Mountain where the ski valley is. I just didn't have the time and it was the wrong time of year. My favorite time to go up there is actually in the beginning of August when the bolita mushrooms are growing. You can go up and harvest buckets of these mushrooms up in the mountains. But I always remember even back, you know, a few years ago when I went, getting adjusted to 11,000 feet just for an afternoon is quite a shock to your system. And yet, even years ago, I was not getting those blazing, pounding headaches from doing it. So this is just an example of how you learn about herbs, how they work in your own life, and, and this is the wisdom I draw on when I use herbs and give them to other people.